Hello and welcome to Chugging Along. I'm Tim. And I'm Sam. So thank you very much for your comments on our last video where we did a Q&A and also celebrated reaching 10,000 subscribers. If you're new here, we've just started a trip from Halston Junction to London. And in today's video, we'll be showing you a trip we did from Church Minshall to Middlewich on the Middlewich branch of the Shropshire Union, where we turned onto the Trent and Mersey Canal. In today's video, we become passengers on our own boat as we give over all cruising responsibilities to my family. Will that be more stressful than cruising ourselves? You'll have to wait and see. But before we get into that, here is a photo of Scott and Sarah in Washington DC playing our new canal board game, Argy Bargy. And if you would be interested in owning your own copy of Argy Bargy, there's a link in the description below. Right, so let's get started with the cruise. In the evening, we got these beautiful shots just outside of Church Minshall. And sadly, we couldn't find a spot there because it is very popular. But we did find somewhere shortly after. It's now the morning after in this lovely spot where Tim's family could find us and take over all responsibilities. Before we started the cruise, though, Tim's parents kindly brought up our new CRT registration papers which they printed out for us. We have to change them every year and display them in the window. Then it was time for Henry and John to find out whether they could get Mary Elle cruising with no help at all. Here's how they got on. Yeah. Dad started the engine nice and early, which is better than what I do already. Let's go to work. Wicks. Now, put the thread to screw on the land so you don't get it wet. <laughs> right then, Captain. Oi! What about my metal chain? Is that yours, is it? Yeah. I thought that was left there. I thought that was part of the canal. Little kick off, Dad. You ready, Captain? Well, you're still tied on at the back. I've not let go yet. I'm waiting for you to do this one as well. <laughs> you can't get on first. Put the tiller bar in, all right? Yeah, we'll work the tiller bar out. So you want Chuggles facing that way, do you? You can choose which one you want. Oh, I like him facing forward. No, okay. Look at that. No, that's what I did personally, I got told off. Right, all four. A nice little push off, jump it in gear, yep. and we were away.
This does look like chaos, and it did feel like it at the time, but they avoided a crash, and importantly, they remembered to stick to the right. Full speed ahead, Captain. Henry was trying to pressure John into breaking the speed limit. Luckily, he wasn't bullied into it. Hello everybody, chugging along. We were also joined by my nephew, Kai, who always enjoys a trip on Mary L. Yeah, I love the narrowboat line. <laughs> yeah, it takes me back to my times with dreamboats. <laughs> that boat's me blood for years. See, the thing is with Henry, is that after five minutes at the tiller, he seems to think that he could walk into a senior role at the Royal Navy. Happy with that? Yeah, no bother. It's in the blood. Speed set in one, so that way to go that way, yeah. Doing it. You've driven more than Sam already now, look. <laughs> This tiny corner was giving them aggro. I remember when that was us. There we go, straighten up. Then they had the challenge of passing a moving boat that was coming towards us. Luckily, it was a friendly chug scriber. Hello, if you're watching this video. For some, the excitement was too much. Nap time for Kai. We really like the bricks, door and shutters on this house. Meanwhile, Dad was doing one of the two things he does best, studying a paper map. All right, so then Sam, how did you feel about being passengers on Mary Elle, having other people take care of all the duties for us? Oh, well, it's nice to be treated to a leisurely cruise, I think. Mm. And what about you? I don't know, I felt a bit fidgety, to be honest with you. I, you know, I'm so used to standing at the stern, you know. I, it was an interesting sensation, but, yeah. I, right, if I'm on the boat and it's moving, I'd rather be steering, I think. <laughs> there you go. Ah, uh, you're right there. <laughs> Although I was feeling a bit fidgety, this still really was a novelty. It's not often I get the chance to do some roof surfing. Big up the boat. 
The Middlewich branch may only be 10 miles long, but we absolutely loved it. Beautiful countryside with good solar spots, only a few locks and plenty of services. A very convenient and pleasant part of the system to base yourself. Then it was time to stop for a break. And when it's my family, that means it's time to photograph some trains, which is the other of the two things that my dad does best. This is where the canal goes under the West Coast main line. And Henry and dad got some snaps of passenger and freight trains. Whose photos do you prefer? Are you Team Papa John? Or Team Henry? Comment below. Not gonna get on board. Oh, you can get on from here if you wanted to. Right, time for the lock. Tim couldn't resist giving them a nudge here. Dad got help from a crew member of another boat that was waiting to go up. That's it, go on. Bit of elbow grease, lads. After getting down this, it meant we were close to the town of Middlewich, where Tim's family was staying in a hotel. Here I am doing more roof surfing. You can get nice shots from the roof. It's similar to a chugging along style drone shot. These bungalows came with garden moorings. Very nice. So, we made it all the way. My family had passed the test and managed to move Marielle to Middlewich. Well done, team. We then found a spot, and we decided to step in to tie up ourselves, as they went to secure a table at the pub. Here are our Middlewich diaries.
morning after, we went down Wardour Lock and to the junction, turning onto the Trent and Mersey. Admiral Henry decided he wanted to have a try. So it's after that boat, Henry. This was the most northern point of our entire trip. And now, heading south, it's pretty much a straight line down to London. I hate to say it, but Henry did a decent job there. We went up King's Lock together, and then Henry, Abby and Kai got off the boat and headed back to Newbury. Linda and John drove themselves down to Stoke and booked themselves into a hotel as they would be joining us through the famous Harecastle Tunnel soon. So that is the end of today's cruise and sadly Middlewich didn't overtake Nantwich to become our favourite canal town. Sorry if you are from Middlewich or live in Middlewich but yeah that is just a personal uh, opinion. Uh, however, there are chances for Nantwich to be wiped off that top spot though. There's a few towns coming up to think of a few. We've got Stone, Atherston, Rugeley to name but a few. Now what my family didn't realise was that that was actually a test to see whether we would trust them on Mariel for a week, say if we went on holiday or something like that. So, here's the verdict. Sam, would you trust my family to take over Marielle for a week? Yes, I would, because I think they put in a decent shift and they were very responsible with Marielle, so I would have no problems leaving her in their safe and capable hands if we were to go away for an extended period of time. At a cost. Overall, what a beautiful canal the Middle Witch is. We originally just saw it being like the Oxford Canal as a through route, but actually, it's turned out to be one of our favourite canals. So now, Tim, it's time for those all-important cruising statistics. Good, all right, thank you very much, Sam. Okay, so over the one day of cruising, we did five miles and just the two locks, and that was all in five hours, thus giving us an average speed of, of course, one mile an hour. That now means our trip average is 1.25 miles an hour, and that now means we've done 13 out of the 205 miles to London. So join us next week where we continue our journey south, where we tackle Heartbreak Hill and approach the Hare Castle Tunnel. But as always, thank you so much for your support. And remember guys, no matter what you do in life, you've got to keep chugging. chugging.